Hello everyone, uh, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Looks a little bit different, I know, behind me. Uh, that is because the building works have progressed to the stage where uh, we have now knocked through. If you follow our behind the scenes vlog, you will know all about that. Very, very exciting indeed. But today we are making these absolutely gorgeous chipotle chicken thigh fajitas. You're gonna love it. The full method and ingredients and instructions, all that stuff is on myvirginkitchen.com. So click the link down here in the description, head on over, give it a go, get inspired. But this is how you make them. Now the first thing I want to say today is we are using uh, chicken thighs. They're actually cheaper than chicken breast and a little bit more meatier. Uh, so you can either use breast or thigh or wing, leg, whatever you want to do, any bit of a chicken other than the beak. And I know you vegetarians are going to love me saying that, but thighs are really good. They're quite underrated. The actual hardest part with all this recipe is prepping your ingredients. And I think that's where I'm bringing out my inner kitchen gadget self to get over this. So for example, the garlic clove was crushed up using my rocker. My onion was sliced up easily by just slamming it down in the chopper thing. And also the sweet bell peppers that I used in uh, the jalapeno poppers the other day. See that video inception? I also used it in that, which made the prepping really, really easy. So it's all about bringing it together. It's all gonna to come together in one big old frying pan. So uh, get some oil in there and then shove in your onions and peppers. And with the chicken thighs, you can get some with bones in. So uh, remove the bones if you wish and unravel them, okay? So they kind of become like a carpet or a rug of chicken. It'll just cook a bit quicker. So all that's left to do is just basically leave the onions and peppers and the chicken cooking away and turning the chicken so it's starting to cook and lightly brown even side. So make sure you do give it even distribution of cooking and your kitchen already will start smelling stonking. We're then going to drench those ingredients, I love that word, drench, uh, with a tin of chopped tomatoes. Get that all in there, mix it through and get it working away baby. You're then gonna try and expose the chicken a little bit and then get some chipotle paste and just work that into each of the chicken pieces. Don't worry, the actual flavor will work into the sauce as well, which is now gonna gradually simmer down. It might be first watery when you add those chopped tomatoes in, but don't worry, that will all simmer off. And basically, uh, with Boston keeping an eye on proceedings, as he always does, especially when there's some sort of meaty thing being cooked, you're just gonna simmer that down for a good 10 to 15 minutes. With it all simmered down, the last thing you do is pour in the drained beans, uh, add them in there and just stir them gently because the heat in there, if you mush them around, push them around, or mush them is the right word actually, because they will actually mush up. And you just want to sort of randomize them inside that sauce and we're basically ready to serve it up. When it comes to warming up the tortillas, I normally just bung them in the microwave for about 30 seconds. In fact, that was what I did do. Uh, but one other cheeky way you can do is once you've got that sauce out of the pan, maybe put it in a bowl, is actually uh, heat the tortillas in that pan. It'll absorb all that flavor in there. Very, very nice indeed. Anyhow, let's build it. So start off with your warmed tortilla, a handful of rocket salad, a good old scoop of your saucy mix, and then your chunks of chicken thigh. Now that's one mistake I made at the start. Make sure you slice your chicken thigh into even pieces, otherwise you have to slice it off camera like I did. Unless you just want one massive thigh in there, that would be good. Add a little squeeze of lime juice, some avocado chunks, a little drenching of sour cream, just to take a little bit of that heat out. That's completely optional, but gives it a nice freshness vibe going on and a sprinkle of fresh coriander looking absolutely gorgeous. I raveled it up, shoved it in my mouth and I was in absolute chicken thigh heaven. Mm. And now it's your turn. So give it a go. So that is it. Uh, hopefully that recipe has inspired you. Super simple and really easy to customize it and make your own tweaks on it. Don't forget to subscribe for regular recipes and food fun. Follow me on social media for loads of behind the scenes bits and bobs. Let me know down below what you want to see next and I will see you again next time.